Hey friends, it's Brian and it's time for another Jeep video. I think we're up to, this is video number 80. Anyway, I'm waiting on power steering hoses, so uh, let me give you guys a quick update. But before I do, if you find my video useful, please hit that like button. It, it helps other people find the video. And if you really enjoy my videos and you want to subscribe to my channel, that'd be awesome. But hit that bell so you find out when I release new videos. Uh, all the videos related to this build of a salvage Jeep from Copart that was totaled out by a major insurance company, who I will not name, are in my playlist called Jeep Build. So anyway, let me give you guys a quick update. So I did a little rework here and I added some three quarter inch um, water hose uh, as an anti um, abrasion thing on the transmission cooler hoses. I found out when I test fit this that I could bring them out underneath. It'll be a lot shorter hose run. And then on this side, so that's the supply, that's the return of the transmission. So I want the return to go into the transmission cooler and then go out and back. And I found that I could double chamfer this. So there's one here and one here because I don't want this um, to get screwed up. And voila, we're done. No fittings, no extra expense. I'm using the hose that came with the kit. I'll put a clamp on this when I'm actually done. Um, this will come from the transmission. That'll go back to the transmission. So that, that's the update on that. Um, one of the problems I have is this engine is over about a half an inch. No, no, an inch if you follow that but it's out of position here so that means that this doesn't fit in place um but fortunately we've got an inch of metal here and an inch of metal here so we're just gonna re-drill these fucking holes um that's gonna be a shit show stay tuned for that video and i decided to do something that all my close friends know i never fucking do i, I cleaned the jeep because I was horrified at all the dirt and dust in here, and I'm like, no, I'm not gonna put all this money and time into this thing and have it be dirty, filthy. But I can't keep it up. That fucking lever won't stay up. So the first time I hit a bump in Houston's Roads, my steering wheel is gonna come loose. So Houston's Roads are like driving in a fucking war zone. And that's not gonna fly. That's gonna be irritating as fuck. And there's a 15 millimeter nut on the other side. That doesn't do anything. So we're gonna fix this. Um, and the first step is you need to take these springs offline. They're under a fair amount of tension, so you're probably gonna wanna grab a decent pair of pliers. We'll see if these have enough grab. Maybe not. I thought, you know. Yeah, there you go. As long as you do it when the steering wheel's up, there's not a lot of tension. Okay. So the next thing you need to do is take a 15 millimeter wrench. It does not have to be a fancy wrench like this. And there's a nut on this side that needs to come out. And you just want to back this off all the way. Now, I'm not like a lot of YouTubers where I just do magic. I show you how it really is from start to finish. The good, the bad, and the ugly. And this nut is pretty ugly. All right, so once this nut's off, then you should be able to pull this out. At least, there it goes. 
So the trick to this is just to turn this a half a turn. I know. You're like, what the fuck? That's it? Yes, that's it. Okay, and then it just goes back together. It's that simple. So that adjusts the tension. like that. It's going to be too tight. And you'll probably have to mess with it a few times like I'm doing. So let me uh, climb in here. point where it adjusts and locks. We're not quite there. But I do want that to be tight. Because most time I ain't gonna move it. I'm the only one that drives my Jeep, so I'm gonna give it a little bit more, and then I think it's done. Yep, that's perfect. So it's about a half ton or half a half turn. Sorry, not half ton. And these are much easier to install with steering wheel all the way up. Good pair of needle nose pliers would make short work of this. And no telling where the fuck that just went. I don't know how to clip. 
exactly where it was secured in the first place. So I'm gonna look for that. Hmm. I'll be back. All right. If you run into the same problem, the attachment point is right there. Um, I know. Right. And get the other one. I still have no clue where the first one went. You will need a decent screwdriver for this program. So there's that one in place. All the way up. Oh, there's the other spring. So we'll deal with it in a minute. Let me see if I can find a better pair of pliers. These aren't the ones I really want to use, but they may have the grip strength to do this. There's one. And then there's a little indentation. Uh, again, let me. All right, there it is. So there's a little indentation there. And then this one is tougher because. It literally wraps. Yeah, that's, that's that's what's causing this one to be a problem. Let me see if the little pliers will do it. it it's just the tiniest of spots that this engages on. So that engaged it, we're done. A little, a little crusty, but it should work just fine. All right, thanks. I hope you guys found that helpful. Oops. Uh. Mm -hmm. So uh, if there's any other interesting projects that I come up with uh, today, I'll be sure to shoot little videos on them. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day.